What's up guys, you're watching another episode of Nail That Tone, the series that's all about helping you guys achieve some of the most legendary guitar tones of all time. In this episode, we're talking about George Lynch's Lynch Mob guitar tone. There's so many cool stuff to talk about as always, so let's get right into it. So today we're talking about George Lynch, obviously a great player from that kind of late 80s, early 90s era. Now, since we're talking about George Lynch, I think if you're trying to replicate his tone, one of the most important things is to replicate his attack. I mean, if you've ever seen him play live, he definitely just attacks the strings really hard and just kind of has that unique kind of style to his playing. So I would definitely recommend playing pretty aggressive. And uh, this isn't exactly the way I play, so it's a little bit kind of awkward for me to play like that. But that rawness is definitely a big part of his tone. So now we're talking about the gear that was used on this particular album. Now the cool thing about this album is that we actually have uh, confirmed information about what was used on the record because George Lynch himself actually confirmed that he used late 80 Soldano SLO 100. I don't know if he used this amp exclusively for the rhythm tracks of this album, but he did state that he did use that particular amplifier on that particular record. And on the guitar side of things, obviously kind of during the late 80s, early 90s era of George Lynch's career, it's um, pretty common knowledge at this point that he was using ESP guitars. He had a lot of custom ESP guitars that were really really cool so um, that's very likely what he used on this particular record and when it comes to cabinets it's very likely he used some kind of Marshall cab or maybe a Soldano cab or even a Rivera cab because I guess it was kind of like a promotional kind of ad that he did during this era that showed him with his rig and it did show a Rivera cab that had EV speakers in it so now we're talking about the gear that I used to get the tone that you guys heard in the beginning of the video. Now for this particular tone, I did use my Soldano SP77 preamp. It's a preamp from the 90s that was of course engineered by Mike Soldano. I don't have a lot of experience with actually playing Soldano amplifiers. This is actually my first Soldano kind of thing that I've ever bought. So uh, it definitely sounds like it has that Soldano character, but of course probably doesn't sound exactly like an SLO 100. But I did pair that with a Moss Valve power amp. Now the good thing is that the Moss Valve power amp sounds pretty good for kind of what it is. It's a solid state power amp, but I think if you're trying to go for something more authentic, I would certainly recommend using probably something with a tube or something and just kind of give you that kind of warm tube distortion. So that's pretty much what I use for the preamp and power section. And for guitars, I just use my Gibson Les Paul and for cabinets, I use my Marshall with uh, Marshall branded V30s and of course, just mic that with a single SM57 and double track that. So that's pretty much what you guys hear in the beginning of the video. So now we're talking about what other gear you could use to get a similar sound. So of course, if budget is not a concern you could always get a, an SLO 100 or an SLO 30 watt which is kind of the newer um, lower wattage Soldanos that they make nowadays you could always go the preamp route like kind of what I did and some of the Soldano preamps that were uh, made during the late 80s early 90s or you could go the synergy route which is um, kind of rack mount as well but it's kind of a more modern thing or if you're kind of on a budget I would recommend using probably like a PV6505 because that's also a very high gain amplifier so it would be kind of in that same kind of gain category and it's just a cool amp that uh, would sound very similar to a Soldano in my opinion. Anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video. If you learned something cool about this album, about this tone, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. We release videos like these on a weekly basis so hopefully guys we'll see you in the next video.